Y'all can't believe that just freaking happened. Never in my life. <laughs> came running and like out of the brush and like just breathing hard. <gasps> it's like what the hell? And they come Either you can park where I work. That'll probably work. Because what well, I should probably give it a half hour, so. Okay. Yeah, dude, that's freaking crazy. That's so awesome. <laughs> oh, I got my little vlog camera with me. I was just updating them what the heck was going on. I didn't get the shot on film, but I got like a couple here comes in ball. Just walking. I'm like, she's gonna go right where those cows were. And sure enough, he was like down that bottom road. And I'm like, well, like, he's just gonna follow them. But like, shall I wait till he like turns, comes up the ridge to me and be within 20? But I'm like, it's like a perfect clear shot at 30 yards. So I took it. It was like a, it was tight in the shoulder, but it looked like it penetrated really good. Okay. But Waiting for Kent. Now he should be here in like 30 minutes. I still can't believe that just freaking happened. Never in my wildest dreams would I thought that that would happen. I mean, I was literally just sitting there having a snack, having my water, just hanging out, waiting for like nine o'clock or so. I am before I start beagling. But then just like. It just went crazy. Because <sighs> I got the hire like a couple cow calls, like what in the world? So then I get up and kind of look around and I see two animals run out. I think, oh, just deer. And I'm looking at them and they don't just look like deer. 
they may have been deer and I mean, but then all of a sudden I was like here panting and the elk just came on that bottom road and it was like 30 yards down that road and they came came up the ridge and they were within like 20 yards of me and like they disappeared and then I looked down the bottom and I seen the bull coming out I was like holy crap he's just gonna fall right where those cows went so sure enough when he got on that bottom road it's like so like I was thinking like should I wait till he comes up the ridge but the wind's been so shifty this morning I didn't want to wait and I had a wide open shot at 30 yards so I took it and I mean it was a little forward but I think it was pretty decent I think it was all right I don't think he went very far because I seen him take off running and I didn't see him disappear at the bottom so I think he kind of went around a little bit and I hope he just laid down once I started cow calling at him. So hopefully he's just laying down there. It's been about 20 minutes since I shot him. So as soon as Kent gets here, I think we'll go slowly start to look for him. That'll, that'll probably be almost nearly an hour probably. So fingers crossed. Kent went up the road. Mm -hmm. See him walking down there. Hopefully he comes back this way. Hopefully. So sweet dude. I'm so pumped for you. He didn't go 100 yards. No. Holy smokes. Oh, I was beginning to think we never would find him. No blood, nothing. Not an ounce of blood. Yeah, ran up here and tipped over. Holy crap. Talk about the roller coaster. <laughs> I thought he was going. I thought he was a bad shot. Five by six? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Nice. That was awesome. Whoo. That worked again, bro. <laughs> it's not like he's out in the sun or anything. Dude, I owe it all to you. Awesome. Man. No, that's so I cool. I wouldn't have been up here if you didn't tell me. Hey, that's what it's all about. Holy smokes, man. Oh, it's just sweet. Oh, that's good Ten stuff. freaking years. Well, that's a good way to start right there. <laughs> Dude, that is crazy. I knew he didn't go very far because he just, I heard him disappear over here and that was it. It just went quiet. Yeah. Want to roll him oh. over? Roll him over? Yeah. Here, let's see. Did you? I don't know. I probably didn't record something else for a few. Well, we got one trip out going back in for more, but we got Hunter here with us. He's going to do all the heavy work, aren't you, buddy? I'm gonna run oh, mouth. That's about what he's it's for. getting hot. Temperature says about 90 already, and it is. Well, I guess it's almost two o'clock, so we should be done by three in meeting the cooler. Uh, luckily, it's kind of a short pack. Whew. One trip to the pickup. Two more quarters, and head still down over the hill. But that'll be easy. I just have to get that one. Kent's got no more else to pack once he gets his quarter down, huh? Nope. So, 
taking a breather real quick get these last two loaded up dropped off the pickup head back and grab the head and we'll be finished beer by 3 30 and shower 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 it's hot hot today it's supposed to break 100 i think in the valley probably only like 90 something here so your dad said it was 95 at the house was it oh, holy crap all right back to the The top of the ridge, the last load. Man, it feels awesome. I don't know if you can see it back there. We got it. Oh, dragging stuff. Anyways, we're almost with the pickup. A couple hundred more yards, and we're done packing. We shot it at, or I shot it at nine. Found it a little after 10, butchered it up. It is almost 3.30, so from basically 9 to 3.30 took us to get this elk out in three trips. So, well, for me, three trips, for him, it's two. All four quarters in there. Scrap meat's already in the freezer or cooler. So we're done. Just waiting for Hunter to get done with his business and cold water and beer time. Beer 30. We should be done. <laughs> and jump in a lake or a river. River. <laughs>